my task for today is doing some maintenance with my worms. So I will bring you along for part of it. I've discovered over time that videoing it is really hard. So I'm going to take still pictures and pull, pull, put them together and do some narration to help you know what I'm doing to take care of my worms. So, here goes. Well, once I pull off the cardboard and newspaper on the top, it's quite a mess in here. Lots of stuff. So, I have another another container that I have paper scraps and I'm putting as I'm taking care of the getting the worm poop out by filtering it with my my screen, I am putting the worms that I find down in what I just showed you there. So here's another picture of it as I'm putting worms down in there. And there weren't as many worms in this particular bin as there's that I saw last time. And this is no, this is the same bin. I have two bins. The newer bin has a lot more worms in it. And you can see that in the picture coming up. There's uh, a bunch of worms there. I didn't take the worm poop out of this one. All I did was just kind of mush things around, kind of aerate it because it gets a bit compacted after a while. And then I got a whole bunch of worm poop out of the one container. And I'm sure that a few worms snuck in, in there, but that's okay. This will be good on my plants, and um, on another day, I'll take some time and do some more. It's not one of those tasks you can sit and do for a long period of time. It's just rather taxing, but <clears throat> I, I fed my worms and covered them all back up, too. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> I have some other worm tending videos on my channel. So if you want to get a little more detail in how I feed my worms and, and such, you can go back and watch some of those videos. Well, I have a tip for, for you today. This has nothing to do with worms, actually. This has to do with making my Shed War videos. After I started making some of them, uh, several people said, you're labeling them wrong. You, your, your hashtags are wrong. You're going to get you <laughs> You're going to get scolded. Well, I went back and listened to the rules, and I looked at what I had done. I had them right. They were right. I had the hashtag Shed Wars 21, hashtag Shed Wars. I also added hashtag will it Team Will It Grow, just because I wanted to give credit to the team. It was all there. My title was correct. Shed Wars 21, colon. Why were these people complaining? Well, they said that that my hashtags didn't show up. I looked at my videos that I made right there in the description where they were supposed to be. They were there. I, can't I don't know what to tell you. But somebody said, if you add your location, you can't see your hashtags. I looked at my videos. It showed my location. Looked in the description. The, the tags were still there. But with a little experimenting, what I discovered is if you take away the location, then those hashtags occur right underneath the video when you're watching it before you ever get to the description. And that's what they were telling me they needed to be there. I don't recall, and I'll have to go back and listen to the rules again, but I don't recall that they told us that we had to leave out the location. But I discovered that with a little bit of assistance from some people, <laughs> that it probably is best to leave out the location when you're making your videos, because then the hashtags show up. Yes, they still show up in the description where you where I put them in the first place, 
but they also show up right underneath the video before you even click on the on the on the description so that you can read it. So that's my tip for today. Leave out the location. And if you want people to know where you are, just type it somewhere down in your in your description. That'll do. <laughs> anyway, I went back into all of my Shed War videos and took away the location. And now they all look the way people wanted them to look. And I don't know if there was anything wrong with it being just in the description and having the location there. But just to be on the safe side, it's the way people wanted it to be. You know, my team leader never did scold me. And I hope if he listens to this video, he can comment on whether it was okay to have the location there or whether it wasn't. Which way do they prefer the hashtags? In the description or in the description and in the little part right ab above, below the video and above the, where it shows you the title while you're watching the video. <laughs> Mystery to me, but I think I'm pleasing everyone now, hopefully. That was my tip for today. So I will make the, turn this into a Shed Wars video about my worms, because the worms are a big part of gardening. And like I said, I, I have non-Shed War videos about my worms. So if you want to know more in-depth on how I take care of my worms and how I feed them and everything, you can go back and watch some of my other videos. The one today was rather short and sweet, just because I just wanted to let you know that I'm working with my worms. I'll go ahead and, and sign off for, for right now. We'll talk to you on the next video.